Okay, so I'm really interested in this sky replacement filter. Small Photoshop job uh, being requested to add some a nature strip, uh, fix up the uh, footpaths, and uh, and just really catch some areas. So, um, so I've started this. I'll just quickly show you that you know here's the the cleanups that I've made um, on this particular one. So you can see you know retouching them. Um, you don't realize until you start scaling. Um, and then I've started to work on the nature strip and I'm, you know, too bright, then color it, you know, desaturate it, um, fix the, the footpath, um, uh, I've brightened the whole thing up, um, added a hedge, and then I did a quick, uh, you know, different sky options. So that pretty cool um, to give the, the client some um, some uh, some options there to choose from. So what we're going to do is start with the other image. So here's the other angle that they've requested. Now, how do we start? I, I tend to just create a, a new copy. I'll just call it retouch. Um, have a look around. Um, and see if there's anything that's glaring that needs to be fixed, you know, things like that, um, little minor things, um, you know, that may be visible, you know, just little small fixes that, you know, the client may not necessarily pick up um, here. Um, some could be the gate, I'm not too sure, but it could be some, some leaves, but I would select um, around the area so it looks as natural as possible um, and keep on editing this way um, so this is um, this portion of the image is um, where we're going to sample the, the color of the concrete so this needs to be cleaned up we need to bring in uh, some grass and replicate those colors across here so it's a not um, so obvious. So I have downloaded um, some Shutterstock images um, and you know I will use uh, a portion of this. So I'll just copy it out. Copy. I'll paste it in here. We'll close that off. Um, I'll just try and sort of manipulate it into the space as best uh, it's going to fit. And, you know, what we want is the client who will receive this, where they're posting it, um, essentially will, um, will determine, um, you know, the quality of it. So I know that this is going to be a website. Maybe they'll put it on a real estate site. So, you know, the, the detail is, is important, but, um, you know, uh, so that's they're not crucial, you know, but it needs to look um, decent. So, what have we got here? So we've got the shape. Um, so, I thought I'd put a, a, a mask in there. So, anyway, what we'll do is we'll do it a little bit different. Um, so, I'm going to. Actually, path. I'll create a path. So I'll go in, just take this line all the way across. And we'll estimate it to go all the way down here. We can adjust this path. Just come across. Just close it off there. So what we have is call it nature strip. Ooh. Nature strip shape. This is all this grass. So and we'll just bring this on the top and we'll do a copy mask on it. Okay, so really simple, nothing to um, and you know, I don't know whether this is going to be um, 
the best solution for uh, the grass. So let me just see what I've got. What have I recently used? It could be this one. Yeah, so you know, it's a different option. So maybe we'll, I'll bring that in. Let's bring that in. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it, it took the attribute of the, of the mask underneath it. Um, that was quite fortunate, but um, you can see the scale of it and you know whether you want to try and make it as fine as and we'll just add it there. I'll get rid of the other one. I like this one better. So yeah, um, yeah, I'll go to fix up the edges to make it look more natural. Um, but people won't be focusing here, they'll be focusing on the building. So the next thing is I've got a couple of hedges. Um, I think this is a good angle um, and possibly that one. So what I may do is I've actually done a bit of work on this one. So you can see I've just um, done the automatic um, removal. Um, I just want it really quick uh, without spending too much time. And now I'll just pop it in here. So we'll try and get it as natural distorted. Try and distort the shape. And we'll try and keep on trying to massage it in there into the into the area. We just whilst this is sort of an elevated um, landscape, you can see the staggered fence. I'm sort of trying to trying to sort of um, get it to fit in there. So I'll, I'll grab actually a second one. I don't want the same sort of um, um, same sort of effects within it so it's you know because these lines in the sh in the in the hedge will show so what you want is as natural as possible um so let's just um, distort this back into here well, it's fortunate that you know we try and get it to to fit this way nudge it a couple of arrow movements um, Bring it back slightly and we'll sort of bring it into here. We'll do some more work. So at this point, yeah, not too bad. Um, I think this one here, this layer, actually I'll re repeat it and um, just scale it down. And I just, I think I'll, I'll be using it over there. Just somewhere there. Okay, so at the moment, um, sort of roughly, I'll just save it down. Um, uh, what am I calling? I'm just calling it the retouch. Okay, so just roughly, um, this one here, I can sort of quickly see that, yeah, I need to distort this down a little bit to try and get it into a, a sort of a shape. Um, We'll improve that. Um, what else do I need to do? I'll go to the to the footpath and we'll do some cleanup. So let's get that underway. So what I'm really looking to do here is, you know, get a, a good portion of, um, of a brush, a size of brush, a good portion of this area. Actually, I've chosen the wrong brush. Um, and really, the old term for you know, photography was spotting, uh, whereby you, you basically just took away any of the dust spots. So I'm looking at, to give it sort of a natural look, you still retain some of the dirt on the footpath so it doesn't look overly manicured. Um, and so what you want is you know, to source or sample uh, a variety of areas, not from the same one. So, it, you know, you're basically just pressing, um, clicking everywhere and sampling while you're going, you know, holding the option key and select, and then 
and then um, aligning. So I've got it currently aligned. I can actually leave it at one point sample and it will always pick that area up. But I like to get the color gradients happening um, close um, in this instance. So you'll see that, um, you know, if I take off that layer, that's what I've removed. It's pretty cool, um, you know, enjoyable. I'm, it's almost like therapy, really. Uh, coloring, um, you know, those coloring books uh, for adults. Yeah, I find this really therapeutic uh, as I go through it. Um, um, the thing I don't find therapeutic is my fans on my MacBook Pro you know, are just firing up. Uh, you know, and they're so annoying in the background. Um, so I'm going to continue on with this and I'll be back shortly. prepare the concrete it's as best as we can do it I think um, you know just some some minor touch up uh, in this area here just just to get rid of I think that's almost uh, almost like a water stain um, so we just so we get rid of that minimize those areas here um, so we I can do that along the way um, as I sort of, I don't want to spend too much time because maybe some of the grass will come up a little bit higher above this lip. Um, so the things I need to do now is, uh, so I've, I've, I've looked at the concrete, so what I'll do is I'll copy it. So I'll actually do it in, I'll take this lesson and I'll copy it. I want to then reshape it. Copy, paste, create a new layer. And now I can, I'll just name it concrete so I know. I'll just call it path actually, just nice and quick. Uh, can, can get confusing, just got to. Think of these uh, concrete path. So, so what I want to do is I want that color here, um, and I want to extend it out um, there. So, best way to do that is just take, I'll copy that, and just isolate one of these pieces. Because what I want to do is I just want it to be, you know, continuous. Um, copy, well, actually, invert and delete the rest. Uh, in, invert the, um, the selection. And then I'll just um, reduce that down. just want that little piece there. So I'll just do it that. Okay, so I think I'm going to cover that. I'll smooth that out so that's good. So there's the, the piece um, sitting there. So then the next piece which I want is here. Um, hmm, how do we shape that in there? Um, so I'll, I'll probably just flip it horizontally. Let's see, I can't seem to get that shape there. So let's 
see why we can manipulate the angle. I think, I think I'm pretty happy with that position. So that's the distorted footpath. Okay. So just wondering. I still like that. So we'll, we'll get to it. So now we've got pretty much all the components to manipulate. So that's where we were. This is where we are. So this is where the fun starts, um, is actually refining a whole lot of these uh, elements together and making sure that, you know, these things um, look a part of the, the landscape without looking forced. So we'll come back. Um, give me a few minutes. Okay, so reached to a point where I'm working on the the lines here of the concrete. So I, I may just draw back some some shading. Um, actually, I think I've gone the wrong way. Okay, so I was removing some edges here uh, to try and look, make that look a, a little neater. So I just need to go back into the layer and start painting in um, the line. So you can see it very light, go even lighter, and, and start adding some shading to emulate the dip. So um, the dip in the concrete. The um, So we'll go a bit heavier and we'll go a little bit smaller with the line. And we'll just draw a, a hard hold and shift. Click one point where you want to start and all the way down. So you can sort of see it coming through there. So I think that'll look okay. Um, if you're concerned about some of these other lines, I would then sort of grab and sample that and then change instead of multiply and just do a normal with a very light opacity and just work in some of the color just to lighten that off and give it that and just do that 
Okay, so you can make it as as random, and you can spend a heap of time. Uh, but I don't think this is going to be the focus. So you'll see that um, it's, it's still quite spotty. Um, we can do a couple of things here. We could uh, go to noise, dust, and scratches, and so that that's a lot. As you can increase that and just start seeing, you know, what kind of effect. But that's too smooth, um, so we'll increase that. Okay, um, so have a bit of a play with that and you'll see that, um, you know, a slight reduction is good. Um, we'll come back to this to give it a, a more natural feel. Um, but what I want to do is fix some of these edges. So I'll get rid of the hedges. And you can see I need to a hard line. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually go back into the mask and smaller brush, I'm just, it can be any, um, any size that you feel comfortable with, and I'll just work, I'll go back to 100, holding shift constantly, to work that back, so I want, I don't want to just, uh, there's destructive Photoshop, destructive Photoshop work, uh, whereby you're deleting stuff, but I prefer the masking method, the you know, if I make a mistake, I don't lose what's underneath. I can just bring it back, um, other, you know, so that's okay. Um, so you can see hold, holding shift and clicking on the mask, it'll, it'll remove the mask. So that's where it was. That's where, how I've worked up the, the layer. So um, I'll keep on going and oh, select the mask. Um, so history is good. You can jump at any point, um, but yeah, um, it takes a bit of getting used to doing this kind of approach. Um, now I will add some some edge to it. So I will choose a darker color from, from anywhere here. I'll lighten it off. I could use the burn tool to, to darken certain areas, but what I'll do is I'll work up this area manually so just ever so slightly oops ever so slightly just take that back so you can see what I want to do now is pretty much add um, some noise back into it because it's too smooth um, so we'll go into noise um, add noise so you can see probably one two is too much oh sorry too little We'll go up and go up monochromatic. Let's go up to five and just see. So we'll just zoom out. That's probably okay. It sort of masks the. It sort of masks the uh, the change. And it looks a little bit more natural. So what we may do is this section here add a little bit. So that looks okay. Um, and let's just go back to here, select this, and we'll add the same amount of noise. Whoa, too much. Okay, so let's go back and select the noise. It's too much, and go back to one. Let's see, go back to two is okay. Okay, so it looks a little bit more natural. So. All right, now how do we how are we going to approach the, the hedges? Let's let's start from the back. So that hedge down here. So let's go down here. Um, I will add again a layer mask, and I will then with black at a hundred is start masking the elements I don't need. Okay. So whilst that doesn't look very natural at the moment, um, so I will put that into a folder. Call it uh, left hedge. Um, I just want to keep it now um, there. I will then um, create a copy of that folder, uh, merge everything, 
and really what I want to do here is um, that area here is make it look a bit more natural like there's shadowing um, so I'll go back into the photo take that area copy it bring it up here paste so you can sort of see that I've got that area pop it in the background so but we need that left concrete to be above here and that there yeah that's about right so the hedge there sits on top concretes there you can see there's a harsh black line but we'll sort that out um, and then we've got the background so this is this constitutes um, so this will be the original you can name these things and you can find your own um, efficient ways of doing it but um, so now I will won't use that I'll just lock it down and so what I want is um, I'll call this wall um, okay so let's start working on this we'll, we'll darken the foreground so this is where we'll go and use the burn tool um, just reduce it down what I want to do is go in and start burning that area and it, you know it's not complying to what I want it to do so I'll, I'll just go manually with the brush um, give it 20% opacity I would choose black and then even smaller brush start working that area until I'm happy with it okay so slowly reducing um, reducing the, the effectiveness of that that's probably a bit too harsh but we'll, we will fix that so then with the wall we'll go into burn bigger brush maybe 50 maybe go a bit bigger let's go 100 because what I want to do is is in the background here is um, create more shadow area so maybe I do use the brush I'll go 10 we could airbrush it but whatever you feel comfortable so you can sort of see is that okay so what we're going to just try and get it as natural as possible um, that's probably a bit too much um, and we'll go back to the eraser go 100 and go remove five so you can sort of start working back on that shadow okay so that hedge is added um, and we will work on um, that how dark that is so um, so I could slowly decrease how dark that is so I may just uh, do a, a levels and just add some brightness to that um, and and then maybe um, desaturate it slightly so it doesn't look as green so it's a little bit more natural yeah, not happy about that how dark that is uh, I think I overdid it <laughs> so let's go back in and we'll do let's see whether this helps Go shadows. Yeah, not too bad. So just bringing a little bit of that natural um, sort of shading. So it's maybe that helps with the path as well. The edges and just lighten it off. Yeah. 
So that's not too bad either. So that's better already. I'm, I'm much happier with that. Um, actually, we'll lighten off this area. Okay, on the concrete. And just to get rid of so those little trailing dots. Yeah. One more. Yeah. Cool. So let's move on to the rest of it. Um, so second hedge. That one. Let's just pop it in a folder. We'll do it this way. So this is the original hedge. Um, so I want to firstly yeah, select some of this um, white background that didn't, wasn't removed from the original image. So we'll select similar. Uh, I'll just delete. In this regard, I'm happy to delete stuff um, and be destructive because I have the original. I can always bring it back in. Um, I want to do more work on this and try and make it natural uh, transition. Um, so what we'll do is we'll clone more. Let's go about 50 and we will clone a little bit more into here. Let's just so we hide the join. Have we got anything else? No. Um, so that's ready um, to have a mask added to it. And we'll work back the concrete. Uh, we'll mask that out. So we've got, uh, we'll go back to 10. That's pretty good. Uh, make sure it's normal and 100%. Yeah. So we just clean up the edge. I think we can do it that way. We can just go in a little bit deeper. Okay, so I'll fast forward and I will get to the next step. Okay, so just cleaned up that edge. So what we want to do is just darken off like we did the other one. Um, so maybe I will use the multiply, the brush tool, 20% um, and we'll just go about 20 here. Um, and I'll go straight on to, oops, I'll go straight on to the edge. Just darken the edge. The other thing, um, you know, I was I was really enjoying myself um, masking. So what you can do also is, so you do have more um, more mask to play with and not have to be too accurate. It's just fill that in. So you can see then I can go back into the the hedge with my brush tool and you can see how far I can I can actually just 
darken that area without without having to to worry about being too accurate and um, so we'll just keep on darkening this area well see that you can sort of see that um, that's come through yeah so maybe next time I'll just use the mark with the lasso hard edge okay so you can sort of see that that's coming through um, so I'll work through and and just darken that. Okay. So I'll just go back to the mask here. Get rid of that. All right. So I can see um, that the edge is pretty pretty okay and then what we want is people focusing on the house and not the hedges um, so we just fix this part of the concrete um, and actually just will just darken to, to give it some shape okay ah. I don't know. Okay, so you know, at that scale, it doesn't look too bad. Um, so let's just color. Um, you know, if if you're feeling that, you know, like I, I can see the bump here. If 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 you feel that that's um, causing you some grief. Or playing with your OCD like it does me, and you know, I'll go into warp and um, I'll pick uh, and see whether that's actually improved it. Yeah, not too bad. I'm okay with that. So, what I want is the same sort of um, desaturation, and sort of slight. Like light thing of of the, the hinge so it's not so bright um, so you can see it's starting to look a little bit more natural and starting to match that the lawn inside um, so you've got to look at your surroundings and try and um, you know um, do the best you can with that um, so let's see much better so let's focus on this grass um, so the foreground, so that's that's the right hedge. Let me just name it. Always want to name stuff. If someone else picks up the file and wants to do some work on it, they can. Um, they can sort of see what you've done. So this is the grass. I would put um, lawn. Um, this is using a hard um, a hard edge. So what we'll do is modify that before we modify it and bring it above the lip here. Okay, so we just modify it. Bring it up here. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So what I'll do is I'll duplicate that. Oops. Duplicate that folder, flatten it. So that's my original. Okay, so I'll just bring that down here. So what I want to do is I want to soften that edge. Um, I know um, grass doesn't grow like that, uh, or a, or a line trim. I say you've got to almost. Um, uh, so I'll just add another sort of just soften the edge is probably the best solution for that, and I'll try and make it as. Um, not as obvious, so, you know, let's just make sure I've got the, got the layer. So I've got to hide that one below so I can start seeing what I'm affecting. So I'm free styling here is I'm not, I'm just going roughly around and just moving the mouse or the, um, the brush across. Um, and sort of trying to 
to give it as natural edge as possible. Um, so let me do that, and, and I think, you know, I can always come back to it later, have a bit of a rest, um, and, and try and improve it. Um, and most likely, you know, we're focusing on an area that may be cropped. Um, so you've got to think of that as well, is that the amount of effort you put in into an area uh, may not actually um, be visible. Um, so they may actually end up cropping it down here and you've gone, I've spent so much time fixing that. Um, so just one more thing that I've noticed that's starting to bother me is, is really just this edge here. So I'm going to just push it out with the um, clone tool. Yeah, it's the clone tool, isn't it? Yeah, clone stamp. And just push that out is just to get rid of that lip. Um, it was starting to bother me as I zoomed out. And again, this is where I, I mentioned that, yeah, maybe cropped out, but um, it's up to you whether you feel comfortable with it. Um, so that's that concrete. Still not the best, I must admit, uh, but it's better than, than the dark area. All right, so it's, it's better than that sort of mess there. Um, okay, so, so we need to fix the front lawn. Um, Desaturate it a little bit so that it looks a little bit more natural. Okay, so I'm I'm, I'm relatively happy with that. Um, so you will see here that um, if I take all those, if I hide those, and and I look at that, and I go, well, it's a better result. Um, people are really focusing on the house rather than arriving at the property and there's no hedges or grasses. Um, that would be a bit of a shock, but that's what um, you know, a lot of uh, real estate um, photos, sometimes if it's a brand new house like this one. So what we're going to do is the fun part. So let me just close that, don't need that. Okay, just save. So what I'm going to do is if you need to find um, the if you're not unsure where the sky replacement is, you know, doing a help, it will show you where it is. So it's under edit, and we'll do sky replacement. Um, so with this particular client, uh, previous image, I think I used, I believe I used that one. So really simple decision. So it adds a whole folder of effects. Really, really amazing. So you have to be on the layer that you want to affect. So let me just take that off. I also gave them a choice of another sky. So uh, I'm assuming that, you know, the, the sky can be added um, in port skies if you've got them. Um, at the moment, I don't. So I've actually, I'll use the default. So this is the other sky that I've used, which I really like. So you'll see that when you add the sky, it actually applies certain filters and gives the whole image um, a grading, which is pretty amazing. I, I've got to say, that looks a bit odd there. Um, but we will fix that. So I think we'll need to bring these, the, push the sky above everything, and then it'll apply it. So you can sort of see now it applies on the left hand side here, it applies everything. So even that one, it gives it a blue, cool feel about it. So the client has a choice. So I'm going to save those down. Um, so option command save, so we save a copy, um, and we'll call it um, sky one. They want it in JPEG. And then we want sky two. Save so sky one, and we'll just go sky two and JPEG. So there you have it um, a full on rebuild of that image with lawn, concrete, 
hedges and sky replacement. Pretty fun. Um, sometimes you spend more time than what's billable, but you know, not many times you get to do some Photoshop work like this, so I really enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you need any more explanation or other tools that you're interested in. Um, even let me know what I could have done better. Um, so yeah, um, thanks again.